What's going on, y'all? It's your man Vic, and I'm the house hunter of Columbia. And uh, I'm here, you see a little shoulder right there, <laughs> with my beautiful wife. And uh, we're getting ready to go sign a contract uh, with one of our clients. Uh, they will be moving into a new home with a great southern home. So we're going to be here. It takes a couple hours to sign this contract. And uh, that's what we're doing. So while we're waiting for our client to show up, I decided to do a real quick video to talk about sacrifice. Because this particular client has sacrificed. And um, and uh, so I think it's important to talk about that. Um, now, this particular client didn't do this, but it was it's, this is another form of sacrifice that I think we should think about making um, in our homes, families, communities. Uh, I know for sure uh, some people have kids that are getting ready to graduate high school and in my family and in a lot of families The first thing you say is man as soon as they graduate you up out of here now One sacrifice that you could make is to help your kids out by saying you know what? When you graduate until you figure it out until you get um, Some structure in your life finances to be able to move out on your own you stay home stay here with us if they're not going to college and if they are going to college and when they get out of college give them time to come move in back in with you you know and give them time to get their self straight because the worst thing you want to do is to put a child out there at 18 or 22 23 that has no financial backing to to move on in life and they're just out there struggling and now they're just behind and the only thing you're going to do at that time is what you're going to go out and you're going to go to check cash in places you're going to borrow money you're going to get car on a high interest rate you're not going to keep up with your credit so those are things that will affect you from purchasing a house down the line so we want to help our kids out um, in my opinion i'm nobody household or anything like that but in my opinion uh, for me personally if my child needs to stay home until they're able to be out on their own and not uh, be in a financial struggle, that's what I do. So that's one particular sacrifice. The other sacrifice is, and uh, I'm going to do this based on numbers, and I think this is a little bit more prevalent for the masses. You probably have a, a homegirl, homeboy, whoever. Uh, maybe not right now. If you're watching this video, you're older, you've been through this stage. We've all been through it. I'm going to tell you a quick story. When I was in the military, uh, I was young. I joined when I was 18 years old. And I had my son at that time. And so I was 18 with the newborn. Joined the Army. And I was a private. Had no money. But, hey, I was out on my own, paying my own car, no insurance. Man, I thought I was grown. But I'm calling back home. Mama, can I borrow money? Daddy, can I borrow money? Um, I go to the field, come back. My lights were cut off. I had no food. Had to go to the DFAC, you know, or the dining facility to get food, store it for two or three days, get as much as I could just to have something to eat. And that was a struggle. And I tried to do it on my own. I was prideful or whatnot. Try not to call home as much as I could because I know my mom and dad, they would help me, but I didn't want to keep doing it. And it was another friend of mine that was going through the same struggle. So instead of continuing to struggle, uh, we moved in together. And uh, when we moved in together, man, that was like God sent. That was heaven sent. It was the smartest thing we could have done, but um, it was a blessing in disguise. So... What we did, we moved in together, and um, at that time, in, um, I was at Fort Hood, Texas at this time, and still young, but I'm doing well, um, always in the field, getting ready to go to Iraq, Afghanistan, I mean, Iraq at that time, so I'm deploying overseas and stuff, and it just made sense to consolidate everything, and we were in a duplex, and a no, fourplex, two bedroom, so instead of paying $700 individually, we came together and pay $700, split it down the middle, 350. So let's just look at it. If you were in a home, uh, or wanting to purchase a home down the line for $120,000, your down payment is 3.5%, which is $4,200. If you were to pay 350 a month a piece, save the other 350, um, and, and it may be a struggle doing it, but if you were to save that 350 every month, 
instead of paying seven hundred dollars you know one place <clears throat> and then after one year you would have that forty two hundred dollars thirty i mean three hundred and fifty times twelve is forty two hundred now you have your down payment but if you think about it you were to cut back and save half that three fifty then in two years you would have yourself together you wouldn't struggle as much. You kind of be a little bit more free, but you would be saving money. You feel a little bit better, less stressed out, not having to go get uh, check cash and stuff like that. So if you were in that situation right now where you have a cousin or a friend, um, a classmate or a coworker, anybody that you know both of you are just talking about, man, it's hard, I'm struggling. You know each other's situation. Um, or if you have a friend of yours that's in a good situation, but doesn't mind you moving in with them to consolidate your bills, get yourself together, get yourself out of debt, start paying your bills on time, no more check cashing, get all that stuff straight, get your credit straight for the next year or two. Then you can purchase a home. I'm not the real estate agent that says, because you can't get approved today, bump you. No, I'm the real estate agent that says, and my wife as well, just because you can't get approved today, that, that's, that's just a not right now. It's not a no. It's just a not right now. But we're going to continue to work with you, stay in contact with you, and get you uh, to where you need to be. We'll help you through financial education, credit restoration, or credit, credit repair, not restoration, credit repair for free through our lender. And all these things will help you become a homeowner. So if you have any questions, man, that you want to talk about, just the sacrifices, everything I talk about in my videos are based on first-hand knowledge and things that I've been through I don't do conjecture I don't I don't just uh, talk on judgment I talk because I've been through it I've been down and out I've been um, with bad credit I've had no money um, I made bad decisions I've used check cashing um, I, I went and uh, didn't pay my car note for months or not uh, kept my insurance up because I couldn't afford it and something else is more important. I went without food. Um, I've done a lot of different things. I've stayed with other people to save money, man. So I've done things um, and, and obviously, you know, this is when I was younger and I was d down and out and, and making decisions on my own. I had no guidance. I had my parents. I'm going to say I had my parents that I could have went to, but man, it's, it, it's a pride thing that I wanted to do it on my own. And that's the thing. Sometimes you you like, well, who do they have in their life? Sometimes they have great people, great parents, uh, cousins, uncles, whoever. But they just need somebody to just take them by the collar and say, or, or a video like this, to say, stop being prideful. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I want to say that's a sin to be prideful or whatnot. But... Just let your guard down and let somebody help you. And even if it's this video that tells you to go out there and um, just downsize, get yourself out of the situation. Don't worry about keeping up with the Joneses. Don't worry about what the next person says. Don't worry about, man, uh, I had this kind of car, but now I don't. Or I lived in this kind of place. What are they going to say because I did this? Sometimes you got to take a couple steps back to spring yourself forward. You know what I mean? So if you got to jump across a, a three foot or 10 foot area or whatnot, you're going to just stand here and jump over it. Or are you going to take a step back, take a few more steps back, get you a running start to jump over it, right? So if it's a hole in the ground, you know you can't just stand there and leap it. You got to go get yourself a running start. So take a step back, get yourself a running start, and springboard into a better um, situation, a better life, a uh, better situation, better circumstances. Um, so if you got any questions, man, and you need help finding a home or just, just to somebody to talk to about your situation and help realign what you have going on, 803-760-3151. Email me at househuntofcolumbia at gmail.com, Facebook, Victor Hugey, uh, and I look forward to hearing from you guys, man. As always, have a great and blessed day and for all my YouTube people like comment and most of all subscribe holla back at your boy